all that meritorious reform has been done, how do you preserve them? How do you keep them growing and glowing without fa- fa- falling? So this is where we talk about humility. So chapter 4 is about humility. And he begins in the very iconic words. In I Ching, I believe in the West, everyone loves I Ching. Uh, I think not everyone, but I Ching is well known because it t- talks about talks about laws of life, like laws of like just like we're talking about laws of physics, you know, reaction, action, and reaction, and all that. So this is the same thing. It's an observation of how things works in terms of natural and human, uh, natural and natural, uh, human and human, the so human and natural, and 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 all that relations. It's about relations, how it changed, how dynamic it is. So in there, he picked a phrase. He saw the heavens will always reward the one who are humble and always take away from those who are full of themselves. It sounds like Bible. I read Bible yesterday as well and they did talk about that. You know, the God will only uh, uh, reward the humbles and take away the people who are full of themselves. So same thing. It, it, it's a law. Of, it's an iron law. Everyone knows. Everyone should know. And in the earth, we're talking about physical one, the earth, all right, will always, um, how to say, make something that piles like a mountain back into the common ground. So look at the, you know, look at the mud. They will always flow to the to the ground, all right. Not the other way around. So this is how it works in our world. That means if you are, uh, if you are hard as deep as a valley, you can take even more. Shi huai roku, you can take more in. If you're already high like a mountain in there. You, no one can fit anything more in there. So humility is the way to preserve it. Keep uh, keep a low profile all the time. Always have that low profile. Don't do anything flashy unnecessarily unless it, it gives a proper message. Otherwise, don't. Not just the sky and the land. Heaven is in the sky and earth is in the land. We're talking about the spiritual beings like the ghosts, the gods, the um, spirits, they were always trying to prank or not prank, punish the people who are full of themselves and always trying to benefit those people who are humble or who are uh, keeping a low profile, who are not trying to be shown off. And human, us, they always hate someone who was too full of themselves. Don't like someone who are two of themselves. Dislike um, arrogance and always respect those who are humble. Always, um, people who are humble, you you feel very comfortable with that person. They don't put it in your face all the time, right? This is more relatable. We are humans. Uh, someone who are full of themselves, you can see, even having a meal with them is so unbearable. They will be talking everything just about themselves every time you're trying to bring out a topic. It's all about me, it's about me. So reflect that reflect on that. Therefore, in I Ching, there are eight gua, so eight opposites, just like what we read about the chapter three, the eight opposites of goods. I think he got inspiration from here. And this is also eight pairs. If you want to summarize phenomenon of the whole world, of the whole universe, they can summarize into eight pairs, including science, guys, including biology or whatever, the history, sociological, psychological, biological, uh, scientific, and philosophic. Everything can be summarized in these eight gua. Obviously, I'm not profoundly learning about this, but uh, this is the summary I read. So everything has up and downs, like yin yang, right? And this is how the yin yang came from, by the way, guys. And, and, and everything has its good and bad. They will always have opposites. When you have merits here, they always have some faults there. Something like that. They will, unless you Buddha. So um, normal people will always have that. But among that, there's only one gua, which is one of the signs. They are always positive. They will never be negative, which is hum humility. Liu yao jie ji. So in Chinese, it's called qian zi yi gua liu yao jie ji. Um, in 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 a very simplified way. Um, Everything has, every every phenomenon has its 
plus and minus. Some have more plus, some have more minus. Uh, but this one is only plus, no minus. So it, it, as you can see in the history, people who made, or well, Chinese history, people who made huge achievements, like building a Han Dynasty, Zhang Liang, Mr. Zhang. And he, I think he read this as well. He's like, I finished, I helped this Emperor Liu Bang to build, Mr. Liu, <laughs> Mr. Liu, Emperor Liu to build a nation. So the Han Dynasty is what we call Han Chinese here. So as you can see, it's a very powerful dynasty. So they built a, a, a whole nation out of that. And then they retreat from the scene. And and he don't take any dukedom or mar, uh, marquis or any any sort of um, prestige or fame. He just hide without even knowing, without even informing him. He just he just hide from the planes, uh, hide from the public. No longer take the the prestige and honor that he deserves. Hides and enjoy his little life in the mountains. So that person lives happily. Yes, he might not have the fame and whatever the merit, uh, fortune that we worldly people call. But do you know what happened after that? Because emperor, every time it's a historical precedent, it's always happening. Every time you build a nation, you will always kill all that people who help you to build a nation. Yep, that's what's happening all the time. Han, Ming, Tang, everything. They all ha have to kill all that um, Gong Chen, Sha Gong Chen. In Chinese, we all heard so much. Uh, because these people are fighting for with you and when they build the nation with you they have that influence and as the absolute monarchy you don't allow influence like that sitting too long sitting too long you will influence your next generation who inherit your throne you become weak unfortunately that's the president set and they will always be followed until the end of Qing. so um so this is what happened. Everyone was killed except him because he didn't take any position. Duke them. His son will not inherit anything. So he will not have any power influence over the Han, the royalties. So back to the hum humility. This is how in, in the big scale, this is how humility works. In modern times, I can think about US is George Washington. See, he might be the one who built the nation, but he do not take the title of king. He called Mr. President. I can I can think about U.S. why it can hold itself uh, properly in the beginning is because of him. First thing is non-partisan. He don't play that uh, multi-party thing. He do not like that. I I read his profile. I just I know why U.S. is U.S. because of him. He he's the one who laid the foundation for the nation. And obviously the rest, whether it deteriorates like Roman Empire, it's just a matter of time. But I will talk about the why is he able to hold this nation amongst a world they are quite hostile because um, he himself he's humble as well he don't he don't want he was given the suggestion to be called a king or anything which is a high title but he didn't and he keeps himself low profile as well he don't try to overtake this military power and that he let course run itself he only do what he needs to do doing his job and that's why he's worthy of respect no matter what parties you are especially in a polarized situation right now so those are modern examples that we can relate to. And these are great peoples who did humility well and ends up creating at least a, a, a period of time where uh, uh, something can be built on for our nations and stuff like that. So back to normal people, us, the normal people, 